Welcome back guys, this is Benito and this is tutorial number 14. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to read data from an Excel file and display on a table uh, component in MATLAB App Designer. So let's go ahead and open up MATLAB App Designer. So here we have MATLAB App Designer, a clean window, and we will start by dragging in a table from the component library. And we will also drag in a button. So what we're going to do is when we click on this button, uh, we'll essentially read in some data from an Excel file. So we'll rename this to read file or read data. And uh, we have four columns in there right now, but depending on the amount of uh, columns that we have in the Excel sheet, it will automatically re readjust. Or you can just manually change it by coming here and uh, removing the column names. So if we just remove column four and three in the column name and then click return or enter, then it just gives us two columns. So in this example, what we'll try and do is just simply read uh, some numeric values from Excel sheet. So to do this, I've created an Excel sheet and uh, we'll just say this is X and this is Y and we have some numbers from one to 20 and the Y is equal to X squared. So I've uh, written a simple uh, function here. So, and I've saved this as book one and this will be in the same working, uh, working directory as my MATLAB app. So if we go to my MATLAB, you can see my book one is in my MATLAB folder. Okay, so let's get back to the app designer. Now what we have to do is create a callback to read the data when this button is clicked. So we'll create a callback by right clicking on the button and then add push button callback. So MATLAB has some built-in functions that allows us to read data from an Excel sheet. So we'll use that particular function. So we'll say T is the data. So we'll say T is read table and it will we'll say it's book one dot X L S X. So you can type this out or you can just select it from the drop down menu that MATLAB shows you. And we'll say it's uh, sheet one. So this is basically referring to the sheet inside the Excel. So we're saying our data is in sheet one, which is here. So this makes sense. So this is essentially the function that um, reads the data from Excel. And then what we have to now do is we want to display this data in this table here in App Designer. So we can simply type in app dot the name of the table which is UI table dot data so um, in previous tutorials you've seen that for a text box what we say is the value inside the text box because this this is um, uh, like a array we say um, it's dot data so dot data equals T so now we should be able to um, run this and see the data uh, in the columns and in the app designer window. So let's try and run this. So let's click on read data. So you can see we've read in the data from Excel from one to 20 and uh, one to uh, 400. So this was quite straightforward. Now you might have noticed in my Excel sheet, um, I have X and Y here. So if you want to display X and Y here, then we can do add a couple more lines of code and do this quite easily. So to do this, all you have to do is simply type in app dot UI table. And then this time we're referring to the column name. So column name should be equal to T dot properties dot variable names. So this is going to essentially read in the variable names, which is X and Y at the top of the um, Excel sheet. So let's click run and see if this works. Read data. And you can see it's changed to X and Y. 
So to change the, um, the headers in the two columns, what we have to do is add in uh, two lines of code essentially. And to do this, what we have to type is um, simply t.properties.variable names and then curly brackets one referring to column one and we want this to be equal to single or double quotation is fine x data and we'll copy this and paste this and say the second column header should be y data now you might have noticed that i've pasted this these two i mean i've typed this two lines of code above this particular line so what we want to do is read the table read the data from the table from this particular sheet we say that's equal to t and then we say this t is the data inside this table and then what we're doing is overwriting the x and the y and these two lines are basically essentially uh, overwriting the x and the y in the uh, in the first row and then what we're saying is we want to update the variable names uh, in the table so this is why we have to put this above this particular line of code so let's try and run this let's do read data and you can see this is uh, updated by x data and y data so the x and the y were replaced now let's try and let me try and show you what happens if you um, paste this after this line of code run this read data and you can see it's not getting updated so just make sure that you have these two lines of code above the this particular line of code which is essentially um, overwriting or updating the variable names inside the data structure so run again read data and you can see the data is updated so hope you learned something new there guys and uh, in the next tutorial what i'm going to show you is how we can use this particular set of data to plot a graph or do some other calculations so i think this is the most um, um what most people will be trying to do import some data from excel do some calculation and then present it on a graph for example so in the next tutorial i'll cover that um, i hope you learned something new and if you enjoyed my tutorial then uh, give me a subscribe and a thumbs up and if you have any questions let me know through the comments or the discussion panel on my channel see you next time